focus on something we think is matter to us. So, what's matter to marketers? In a hit-driven society, of course, it's popular products with high ranking, because according to the assumption in Pareto condition, this 20% of kids can generate 80% of sales in total. However, here is a guy called Chris Anderson. He came up with a new marketing model called long-term marketing in 2004. He drives us from focusing just on hit products to net products. He tells how potential and profitable can unpopular products be. What I want to tell today is not about how long the tail can be, it's about how small business owners who is selling niche products can gain popularity and take their advantages from the internet based on Chris' ideas. In the 19th century, industrial revolution brought us mass production products. However, we are now experiencing the customer revolution in this 21st century. Internet changed shoppers' behavior and buying preferences. From passively, customers were fed with production information, now they changed into actively looking for what they truly want. Customers become more and more savvy and aware of choices. People are now looking for more and more personalization products to portray the taste online. When the audience becomes the media, the content becomes the product and experience, the market environment has to change. Digital experience not only influences how customers behave, but sellers also need to catch up with this trend by changing in media, pricing, and communication strategies. When everything is happening online, every little step is tracked. What I'm talking about is our data being collected by different online gatekeepers. Big data implies the inference in volume, variety, and velocity when collecting data. In the market, Big data means new changes, challenges, and competency. Big data is no longer only benefit to the big companies. So, how and what can small business owners do with big data? One of the answers is Google. Google is special because it is a huge platform for business owners and searchers interacting with each other. Google is more than just a search engine. It is the first of the most visited website. It also provides a large variety of services and obtains users' information at the same time. It also simplifies data processing and provides platforms to general audience like you and me, and also small business owners. For the media strategy, business owners can improve the exposure rate through search engine optimization and do online advertising pay-per-click in Google with lower cost comparing with traditional media like TV, press, radio to reach the potential customers. Also, through Google Analytics, business owners can monitor the web performances and obtain data from existing customers. As for the communication strategy, Blogger and Google Plus provide a platform to expand the base of potential customers. Everything is happening inside Google that Google will be able to give more accurate support and information to small business owners. However, people doubt the usefulness on Google Plus. What if it changes its marketing position to bias a small business seller's community on top of just a social media? It may work. I did some case studies about small business owners to investigate into their views on online advertising. Can they catch up the trend in this broadband era? What is their views on their business about personalization? I also found out some interesting insights for further development. What is the limitation of flaws on collecting and using data digitally with both laptop and mobile devices? Where should Google Plus positioning? Is personalization economically wealthy to big chains? How a small business can move on to the next step as a brand? I'm looking forward to see the next step of my report. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy about it.